what's good YouTube it's your boy Ming and Moto show or Ming and Moto but I'm just yeah this is the Ming and Moto show that y'all are watching anyway so I'm going to talk about something that I've kind of talked about in a couple other videos so you know whether or not you've seen it seen them before this video or you see it after I'm going to give you the rundown just in case if they come out later after this uh i've talked about capital punishment and how we sh you know we should have capital punishment around the world whatever example if somebody is convicted convicted of a sex crime it should be shot on sight if so, uh, somebody makes a fake uh fake rape claim they should be locked up in federal prison for 10 years whatever that's not what i'm going over in this video my thing is is if somebody has drugs on them, like meth cocaine heroin prescription pills uh weed whatever fuck it whatever just take their shit write them a ticket of like a hundred bucks two hundred bucks whatever and send them on their way because if they want if they want to get or don't even write them a gosh damn ticket because it's a waste of time just take their shit and let them be and let them go because if they want to be getting high and killing themselves slowly fine let them do it people who act should actually be in jail or prison should be you know violent crimes like armed robbery and you know shit like that now people who commit murder sex crimes animal animal abuse and uh child abuse shit like that should be murdered on site but whatever my thing is, is with, uh, whether it's county jail, state prison, federal prison, whatever it is, right? If you're locked up in a cage, they should remodel every single jail and prison and make every room a solitary confinement room. So that way, the people that actually go there for committing armed robberies, Grand Theft Auto, and you know other violent crimes and you know shit like that they have to sit in a dark room basically by themselves for the entire gosh damn time that they're in prison or jail just because that way it will really fuck with their mind and then after a period of time of them being locked in there you start training these people you start teaching them shit you know what i'm saying like teach them how to be like a construction worker or some shit you know what i'm saying teach them plumbing or uh gardening or electric you know electricity and shit like that but you know the reason why i say people in jail or prison should be locked in solitary confinement like that is because when you break these people down it's gonna make them second guess and question is it really worth them doing those crimes and going back to shit like that? You know what I'm saying? Because like I've said, if you murder the rapists and people who commit sex crimes, then there's going to be less of them. And like I've said, hopefully, you know, more people will see that type of shit and be like, okay, I'm not going to do that type of shit. And then same with, you know, people who commit murder, uh, uh you know sex crimes murder child abuse animal abuse shit like that just put them in the, a bullet in their head people will quit doing it whole and or it'll definitely sh cut the crime down and now people like who are slinging dope out there on the streets and stealing cars committing robberies and shit like that or making fake rape claims if you put their ass in you know solitary confinement for a few years and you start training these people to actually do you know hard working like hard work you know and change their brains then they'll actually quit going back to prison and jail and quit constantly costing taxpayers more and more money over the course of their lives so and you want to make it to where they process okay i was spent 
a year in solitary confinement, two years, five years, ten years in solitary confinement in a little dark ass room by myself, nothing to do, no interaction with any other people that got fit. All they have is a gosh damn toilet and a bed, no windows, and it's dark in there basically and they get one little light that's somewhat dim. So in that way, you know, they can have a little bit of light once in a while, but that is it. No interaction with other inmates, no yard time, no workout time, nothing. If they want to work out, they can do push-ups and sit-ups in their room and literally have their room be so small that it's kind of uncomfortable. Make it just miserable for these people. So in that way, they feel like, okay, well, that was the worst time of my life for the worst year, two years, five years, ten years, whatever it might be, and they'll be like, I don't want to do that again, so it's not worth it for them to commit more, take the risk of getting caught for doing more crimes and shit like that. And then, also the people that commit, like, uh, identity fraud, identity theft and fraud and, you know, Stealing people's blank checks and credit cards and all that shit when they're caught Do the same thing put a bullet in their head and you know It's cuz I mean I'm one of those people where it's like I'm There's t I'm all yeah, you know as y'all get the point of the situation anyways I love y'all be safe catch you on the flip side and as always, stay loving, respectful, humble, helping neighbors, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Deuces, y'all.